Don't bash your elbow into the engine that's right beside the truck and then scream in pain as your hand goes numb from hitting your funny bone. They call it funny bone because the people around you laugh. There's nobody here, so it's just like a sad bone because it hurt. All right, I'll show you guys how to replace the lift pump for a VP44 24 valve coming, so 98 and a half to 2002, I believe. Uh, get your fuel filter out of the way, which is right here. Just take the top banjo fitting off, a little fuel line that connects the two here to the injection pump, and then the two lines. Unplug the sensor at the top, unplug the water uh, sensor at the bottom. Get that out of your way, and then the pump is behind that. Take your air horn off, obviously, and uh, yeah, simple stuff. Let's get into the pump. Okay, so you got lift pump issues. Well, if you have something that looks like that, which is just kind of a pass-through, you have a pump in the tank. If you have a filter-looking housing there, it means that you have the pump on the side of the block. Regardless, the factory setups are not sufficient enough. So what you want is an HFP959, which looks like this. And that is the updated, a little more flow to keep that VP pump. Cool. So we're going to take that off. We're going to move some fittings around. Um, the end tank thing kind of sucks because um, we need to take the two little wires feeding the in tank pump and run our pump. If you have the normal pump there, then that pump will just plug right in. The advantage is that we have a dump truck so we can just lift the top and uh, pull it out. We'll have to put our own little suction line in there to pick up the fuel and uh, a little extra work converting it this way, but that's the route we're gonna go. So here we go. Okay, so simply move the banjo fitting over to the out and then on the in put this little 90 that they give you move the clip over and the o-ring which is sounds easier than it is um, if the line is rusted just wiggle it and then pull what happens is the rust gets behind the clip and doesn't allow you to push the clip in you deal with it push it in and then basically you're done pop it back on put your fuel lines back on don't forget to take the little plastic things off otherwise it's really really hard to get the nuts started you've eliminated the factory pump you've installed your new one if you had that engine mounted lift pump now we've got it in the tank we'll pull the pump out there go my bees <laughs> I'm officially not a farmer anymore. We had some beehives for the summer. Anyway, um, I was hoping to watch them harvest the honey, but I guess they don't do that here. Um, we are going to raise the box and pull the lift pump out of the tank, disconnect the pump, and put our own pickup in there tomorrow because it's getting late and uh, I'm pretty tired. So before I mess anything up, I'll pop this pump back on on this side, and then tomorrow we'll show you how to Finagle with the in tank pumps. Here we go. All right, so this is your lift pump. You can see how small and insignificant that is. Um, there's your uh, fuel gauge, and very simple just one line in and one line out. And you don't want to suck through the pump. So um, we're just going to disconnect this hose and put a little pipe in there that's still goes into the bottom of this can. You don't want to go outside the can. What happens is it's got little one-way valves at the bottom and as there will always be a little bit of fuel in here at the bottom as you're braking and that the fuel sloshes forward you don't want to catch air so as the sloshes back and forth it'll kind of fill up this canister in here and allow you to keep uh, sucking your fuel. So a little bit of garbage in there we'll clean that out and uh, then we will um, put it in there we're going to keep it up off the bottom just a little bit so here we go all right so um basically just want to put a little bit of a corner on it so it only suck is able to suck up from about the bottom half inch up that way you don't get any dirt in there you can put a sock on it if you want not a big deal the filter will catch everything and then uh use some of these little clamps to tighten the hose onto the pipe these are nice because you just squeeze them together and it makes a full 
it doesn't uh, not like a hose clamp where you get a flat spot so stick that in the bottom clean the bottom and uh, figure out your two wires and that run the pump so your black and your yellow and then run that to the pump that is now under the engine so that easy here we go all right so the lift pump wiring you can you can take uh, just a couple of wires from the original pump and you can run two wires to the front or you can tee into lift up on the fuse panel and you got your fuse right here for the fuel system. Did I say fuse? I meant to say relay. Tee into the relay, the out of the relay. Take the four clips off the side, lift, uh, take the two 10 millimeter bolts out, lift up and then it's the purple and orange wire. And just tee into that wire and just feed the pump. As soon as you turn your key on, it'll prime the pump. Uh, you can't give it too much fuel. It's just going to cool it more and bring it back to the pump. So we don't have any more engine codes now. Truck starts right away. And we have full throttle control. So. I would finish the video off with a drive-by or drive down the road and uh, let you guys know what I think of these trucks and whatever. I'll, I'll talk about these trucks more. We're trying to line up every Dodge series and go over each, uh, each generation, the goods and the bads about each one. But uh, unfortunately, this truck came from another shop and I was going to drive it back to that shop because they, they took some stuff apart. The air filter's missing and, and some other things they got in over their head with the injection pump. But uh, I went to drive it back with a garage plate and I popped a brake line. So they're coming to pick it up with a tow truck. They're going to do the brake line. I, I've got too much on the go. They're, they're taking it back. And uh, we'll release another video of uh, every generation. Uh, there's a... Um, there's a 2001, that's a 99, that's an 04, that back behind the Audi is a 94, and that is a 98, and <laughs> I have a 95 in my truck, and we've got a couple first gens kicking around too, the non-intercooled, oh yeah, there's one more here, there's the non-intercooled engine back there that poor blue truck scary eh that's the, that's the trashy side and then we've got the intercooled version of the first gen and then we have a 2011 and a 2014 that the customer that has those is not too thrilled with so we'll, we'll make a whole video on that for now that's the lift pump update lift pump whatever you're not going to see me driving down the road is what i'm trying to say so here we go A Dodge on a tow truck? Well, I never. Hey, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you love the channel, consider heading over to Patreon. There's a lot of stuff happening there to help support the channel. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.